Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Spath, and I'm here today with my two wonderful hygienists, Ashley and Lauren, who both happen to be pregnant. So we thought it'd be fitting for our patients and for anybody out there that we do a quick video on you know, what to expect uh, when you become pregnant as far as your oral health and things to do preventatively before and after to keep, our, to keep your baby as healthy as possible. So Lauren, I'm gonna start out with you. What do you recommend for your patients if they're getting pregnant or if they're planning on getting pregnant in the near future? The most important thing to do while, if you're thinking of getting pregnant, would be to see the dentist. You wanna see a dentist so you can avoid any dental emergency while you're pregnant, like x-rays and treatment. Yep, very, very important. You don't want those problems rearing up when you're three in your third trimester or early on in your pregnancy. Um, so Ashley, when uh, we have a pregnant woman that comes to the office, what generally do you see and what are your recommendations as far as maintaining an oral health, uh, their oral health to keep that, that baby that's growing inside them as healthy as possible? That's a great question. It's very common in pregnant women to experience pregnancy gingivitis, which basically is inflammation in the gums that can present itself through bleeding gums, red, swollen, tender gums. It's quite uncomfortable. The bacteria in your mouth can also lead to preterm labor and low birth weight, which is not something we want to experience. So it is important to maintain brushing twice a day and flossing regularly. She brings up a couple really, really good points there. Um, you know, anytime a mother uh, that's having a baby has any sort of uh, periodontal disease, we want to get that under control for the health of the baby and for the comfort of the mom while she's pregnant. Um, so I know a lot of women experience morning sickness, uh, and I know that you guys have both been through that. What do you recommend as far as a mother to maintain, because the damage that can occur through vomiting, acid reflux, all that fun stuff, it can lead to a lot of problems with the teeth later on. So what do you recommend as far as maintaining that pH in the mouth? It's really important to rinse with water, drink water regularly, and also have a pH balanced rinse or toothpaste. The uh, pH balance rinse that we recommend here is the Carry Free CTX4. Um, and uh, you know, just keeping that oral pH at a certain level, the bacterial acids are so acidic that they literally will, will melt the teeth in your mouth. So the more water that you can swish, uh, you know, even if you can't swallow it, spit it out, whatever, to keep that pH balance is really important. Something interesting that a lot of people don't know is that when babies are born, they are not born with cavity-causing bacteria in their mouth. Those bacteria are actually transmitted to that child by, you know, most of the time, loved ones sharing a spoon, kissing the baby. So we want to be very, very careful with young children about what bacteria we expose them to. And if there are a lot of cavities in your mouth and you're the mother, or the grandmother, whatever it might be, you wanna be very careful sharing any sort of instruments or kissing the baby because you don't wanna put those same bacteria in that baby's mouth or you're gonna relegate them to quite a few problems potentially. So that's something to keep in mind with young children as well. Well, that's a wrap for us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions, leave them down below. We'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you so much.